we have just finished our strategic planning process and are now in the stages of implementation and we have a number of strategic issues and goals that we're working on. Probably in the forefront of those is a goal of adequate funding for the justice system in Minnesota. We have a financial crisis here like most other states and it's very difficult convincing the legislature of the need to adequately fund the court system, um, the need to fund legal aid and, and the public defender system. But we're working on that and, and hopefully we'll make great strides in that. We also have, as, as one of our strategic issues, um, rethinking our governance structure and governance system. The Minnesota State Bar Association is, is a very democratic institution. We currently have a body that is um, called our board of directors and it's 128 people. And um, it is, um, the, the body itself has some dissatisfaction with, with what it's doing and how well it's doing it. And there are some problems with um, how the association is running as a result of trying to operate it through a board of 128 people. So we're, we're re-looking at that whole area. Um, we have brought the board together. Um, to talk about their areas of dissatisfaction, possibilities um, of change. We are, um, at our next meeting, going to bring in um, an outside expert to talk about um, what's happening in other organizations as far as governance. And uh, hopefully, within a short period of time, um, we will restructure the association. One of the questions that we're looking at as we're doing that is why? Why doesn't a board of 128 work? And it has historically, and at least my answer to that is um, it may have been sufficient, but in this day and age and, and the changes and the, the speed at which changes are taking place, we need a much smaller board that can focus more on governance and, and react much quicker than a board of 128. We also have um, a, a strategic issue. We know from research that the most important thing that members want from the association is information, and they want information about changes in the law that are taking place. Um, in, the, in the legal system, our sources of change happen to be the court system, the legislature, the various government agencies. And it is very difficult for lawyers um, to keep up to speed with those changes. It's also very expensive. Um, so we are developing, um, enhancing some of our programs and developing some new programs um, to provide more information to members and, and in more specialized fashion than we have. The final um, big strategic issue that we're dealing with and that I believe from my conversations with other associations, all associations are dealing with, and that is how to remain relevant to the members and to your potential members. And the Minnesota State Bar Association is, is, is no different in that uh, respect. We um, hold ourselves out as, as the solution to licensed lawyers. The diversity among licensed lawyers has increased dramatically in the last 20, 30 years. They're no longer just white males practicing in private law firms. Um, they're now um, all different races, religions, um, all different practice settings, and their interests and needs and goals vary dramatically. So we have to figure out a way which we can expand our pro portfolio programs and services and still maintain the quality in order to appeal to those members. So those are just a few of the strategic issues that we're dealing with, and uh, I look forward to a, a, a different place five years from now. I enjoy working with people. It, it's just absolutely critical in this position. Um, the one thing I, I just love coming to work every day, the, the legal profession over centuries has attracted some of the best minds in the world. And that's no exception here in Minnesota. Um, and those bright minds in the legal profession come to the association for participation in their profession. And the ability to interact with those people, to learn from them, to work with them, is just so rewarding. 
and um, without a doubt that is the thing that I find most rewarding in my, my profession here. I have been doing this now for probably 30 years, 33 years, um, and I am at the stage now where over the next 10, 15, 20 years, um, and, and I, I started this very early in my life, um, I'll come to the end of my professional career here. So I have given some thought to what my goals are what I want to accomplish in the last 10 or 15 years. And I think it's, it's to leave the association in a very strong position, strong across the board. I, 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 I kind of use the Aristotle's approach of a balance in life and a balance in association. You have to have strong financial services, financial systems in the association, strong planning, strong business. And, and making sure that the MSBA is strong in all of those areas um, and, and ready to face the future.